edition of Who Was Saying Who Was Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Dear and Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Dear and Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hear Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hear Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and now and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are so holy in thy grace. The fifth luminous mystery, the, the institution of the Eucharist. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, O great glory of the Lord, blessed art thou among the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, O great glory of the Lord, blessed art thou among the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, O Grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, O Grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father. As it was in the beginning, and now and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of the fire, and lead all the souls into heaven, especially those who are so seen by men. O holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, our hope, to thee we cry for we send up our night morning, weeping in the valley of tears. During the most gracious death, deny the mercy of Georgia, and after this 
filled by the Lord with the spirit of understanding. Blessed Bernard ministered streams of clear teaching to the people of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <clears throat> Good morning. Today we celebrate the uh, feast day of St. Bernard of Clairvaux, a Cistercian monk and uh, doctor of the church. He, uh, his writings, his spiritual writings, uh, made so clear the doctrine of the church and about spirituality. And he also founded 68 monasteries. But his work was mostly in trying to unite the people of Europe and uh, having peace in their land. Let us now wholeheartedly respond to the invitation of God, of Jesus, as we <clears throat> celebrate in this table of plenty, plenty his sacrifice for all of us. I confess to Almighty God, <clears throat> my brothers and sisters, that I have clearly in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with seal for your house and a light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will clean on you and wash away all your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. I will pour clean water on you. <clears throat> For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. 
My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A contrite and humbled heart, O God, you will not spurn. I, I will pour clean water on you, wash away your sins. Alleluia. Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and elders of the people in parable, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time, he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My cubs and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest is laid hold laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those martyrs, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out therefore into the main roads invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guest, he saw a man there, not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet, and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. An invitation is not a command. We receive many invitations in life, either verbally or in writing, and we probably ignore or decline a good number of them. We are free to accept an invitation or not. God's way of relating to us is shaped more by invitation than by command. The parable Jesus speaks of in the gospel is about God's invitation to all of us to the banquet of life. In the story, the king who invites chosen guests to his son's wedding banquet does not cancel the meal when those who are invited all refuse. Instead, he invites a whole new group. That aspect of the story speaks to us of God's persistence. When the human response to God's invitation is not forthcoming, God does not cancel anything. He simply intensifies his invitation. God continues to work to ensure that as many as possible approach the banquet of life embodied in the person of Christ, who is 
the bread of life. The second part of the parable reminds us that saying yes to God's invitation is not something we do once and then forget about it. We have to say yes to God's invitation every day of our lives. In the language of the parable, we have to keep putting on the wedding garment and having been clothed with Christ at baptism, we have to keep clothing ourselves with Christ and all He stands for day by day. Come, follow me. Come, sit at the table of plenty. Come, taste and see the goodness of God. God bless us. Praise to the people. As a people preparing for the heavenly banquet, let us place our needs before God. That the Holy Spirit may graciously watch over church leaders as they continue to lead their flocks in the way of Christ's peace and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That God may guide our civil leaders in working diligently to raise up the lowly within the communities they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer that those who suffer from affliction in mind or body may be blessed with Christ's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that God may strengthen his faith community as the body of Christ in doing his work on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and today we especially pray for the souls in purgatory and for those who have died that they may enjoy the eternal feast with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear and let us pray for those who are affected by the, uh, by the fire and the first responders, that they are suffering in the situation that they are in, that they may not lose faith in spite of these things that's happening to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all souls in purgatory for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, you are the judge of all that is right and good. Hear our prayers and grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed you, Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Lord God, we ask you to receive us in the pleas of the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts.
Let us all pray now that this, our sacrifice of bread and wine, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord send a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all his truths. We offer you, to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the Abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed, who strove to bring order and concord to your church. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, O Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lead us to courage. And their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and the Highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be course to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the kingdom. Kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer his other the sign of peace. peace be. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those who are called to the banquet of his Lord. Lord, I'm not worthy. I'm going to say the word.
an act of spiritual communion, especially with those who are live streaming. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effects in us so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. A good day to all. Thank you. Thank you.